The company is called Ethnic Hill Tribe Ego Trails. It's a family-owned business owned by Mitt and Keisha, the founders, and they fell in love on their own little jungle trek here in Chiang Mai, and they started this company together. If you guys have been following my channel a while, you know that I love supporting local businesses, so and ecotourism and sustainable tourism, so that's why I fell in love with everything they're doing. I filmed it for my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Mitt. So I'm from uh, Current Hill Tribe people and today I um, have a very good time. So later we will start walk with uh, everyone in the forest. Hi, my name is Mai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, bestie in uh, Chiang Mai bestie. Hello. Hello, I'm Dave. Hi, Dave. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Dave is a doctor from Malaysia. That's right. <laughs> but also doing lecturing. Yes, I am. <laughs> and what brought you here today? What brought me here? Um, nature. Yes. Yes. I Wild and free. Love that. Passion fruit. A real passion fruit looks Whoa. like. Is it cool? <laughs> Hi. My name is Mo. I'm from. I live in London, but I'm originally from Libya. And uh, yeah, just checking out the nature today. Perfect. Wish us luck. Uh, solo. Solo. It's a little bit hard to walk up to, you know, to the viewpoint. After the viewpoint, so it's more easy to walk down flat down to waterfall. So we will meet two waterfalls today. Okay. Wow. The first one we can't swim because people from the village they drink water from oh. there. Oh, okay. But second one, second one is bigger and we can swim. I found out about it because I'm in a female nomad group for Chiang Mai and the owner posted in there and then I told her I had a YouTube channel and we started talking. Ethnic Hill Tribe Eco Trails is a sustainable and ethical tourism company and what I love about them is they give back to the indigenous families. They hire local drivers, guides, and so on and they create jobs and income for the local Karen Hill Tribe as well as they help them get their tour guide licenses. So I just think that's so amazing and beautiful. They offer one day and two day trips and when they do their overnight two day tour, they have it at a family farm stay and that family farm stay provides jobs and income for the younger and older generations when they are unable to farm. Today we're going to be going through the jungles and hills of northern Chiang Mai. What makes this special compared to any like typical guided hike is that they are taking you Karen Hill Tribe style through the jungle. Like we literally, as you can see here, Mitt had a machete and he was literally cutting the grass and it felt like I loved it because I love like off the beaten path kind of hikes. I felt like we were authentically like just hiking through the jungle and that made it 10 times more special to me than any other hike. So as you can see, we were deep in the jungle and one of the guys actually got a leech stuck on his leg. And yeah, he pulled the leech off. It's very common to get leeches, especially it had rained the day before. But yeah, he pulled the leech off and it was bleeding a lot so luckily he had a first aid kit with him but yeah it was pretty wild so me and solo we were kind of ahead of the rest of the pack the whole time because i'm a fast hiker and he was kind of just going off and i was just following him and everybody else was hiking a little bit slower not not in a bad way but yeah we were we kept like going ahead of everybody and then we'd have to wait for everyone to catch up but it was nice um so here solo is grabbing some banana leaves because they use these to plate our food i mean how amazing is that how beautiful is that so i was filming him grab them because i thought this was just like so beautiful and cinematic So 
So you know how sometimes you go on a tour and the lunch is just, I don't know, it's not that great. That is not the experience you're going to have here. The lunch is epic. First of all, we went to this viewpoint. This is where we sat and there was just like a giant table there. From fruit, fruit skin and tobacco. Tobacco. <laughs> leaves all on the table to really use to just plate the food and this is them setting it up it was how beautiful does this already look and then not only was the presentation absolutely incredible but then they had all this food from pad thai to ginger chicken to watermelon to pineapple and it was just epic see they're placing the pineapple first so presentation was 10 out of 10 but then the food was 15 out of 10 also and presentation was 20 out of 10 too yeah this is them putting the little different dishes like the ginger chicken and look at this it's just so good and the food the taste everything was so so good i truly can go on and on and then the pad thai was wrapped up in the leaf as well and it was so good too like look at this what a dream truly truly amazing and then we went back on the hike i was so full after lunch but luckily we had about a 40 minute to hour walk to the first waterfall to me feeling immersed in the culture and feeling a part of nature and experiencing local culture from locals is the most meaningful experience and to me that's what traveling is all about So the first waterfall was absolutely beautiful. You can't swim in it because it is used to drink the water from the local village, but it was so beautiful to just sit there and take in the view. And we were walking along the canals and we stumbled upon tiger bomb tree. I'm gonna show you guys, you've probably seen this right here, tiger bomb. And I had no idea that it looked like this, but I'm telling you when he, took this off of the tree I could not stop walking and smelling the tiger bomb it was so good I truly had no idea this is what it looked like because I've always just seen it be in the little containers but the walk along this water was just so beautiful and then we ended up at this viewpoint which was absolutely incredible like being in the greenery deep in the greenery overlooking all of these rice fields it was just truly magical and then we stopped and just like sat because one of the guides lived in one of the little huts and we sat here for a bit and it was just so beautiful i truly like this would be my dream to live and see this view every single day look at this it just literally got better and better as the day went on there was just like it wasn't like you see one view and then it's done it just gets better and better and better and we actually walked through this it used to be an elephant farm but during covid they sent the elephants away to another place but they're starting to build it back up again since tourists are back so we walked by that and then we ended up at the next waterfall and there was this beautiful butterfly that just kept hovering over where i was standing trying to film the waterfall the whole time that's why i got that because i thought it was so beautiful the second waterfall was amazing after the second waterfall we started to make our way back to the car and again it just like literally just kept getting better and better and it was epic by the time we were hiking out it was around 6 p.m so we were truly there all day literally could have stayed here forever we ended at the village where we bought some snacks and food and got to see these cute friendly little doggos it was just absolutely incredible to like talk to the people i will remember this experience forever was one of the most beautiful incredible experiences of my life and I've done so many hikes around the world but it was just like such a good group and it was awesome to like truly go like we were tr full-on trekking it wasn't like some touristy thing we were like full-on in there and then 
just it was so absolutely breathtaking like everything was just so breathtaking and i highly recommend this trip i'm gonna put it in the link in bio make sure that you like and comment your favorite part and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time it was really cool really fun like an authentic jungle experience got some scratches what was your favorite my hands. part that was when we walked by like the river um the ton tunnel oh, the, yeah the, the rice field kind of water thing nice yeah it was really fun Thank you. I think my favorite part was walking uh, through the forest with the water on the left side of us and the right side. And we could hear all the sounds of the forest yes. and animals. It felt very calm, soothing. It was very enjoyable. I could have done it forever. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> all of you. My favorite part, I think, is the group. I think you guys are amazing. Made my day. Yeah, different people coming together with same intention to walk through the forest. But I think we have got, you know, lots of stories. And I think that's the amazing part of this journey. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. You have to come to Chiang Mai and do this experience. I'll link the info in the description below. But this is a must do in Chiang Mai.